welcome do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe exclusive good day my beautiful people yeah today's uh, article today today's uh, correspondence uh, today uh, headline today news uh, is not the usual so i'm going to read it uh, half uh, it is not a biography neither is it a uh, um, uh, a story or an history, but notwithstanding, it is a storyline. Uh, uh, the you know subject and the subheaded is uh, that uh, Bianca Ojuku, she wrote, and I know who Ojuku is, and I know you know also who Ojuku is, the wife of uh, Ojuku Bianca Ojuku. Here, yeah. now she said, each time I see the picture of my wedding cake. The rather funny but sad story of the wedding cake comes to my mind. I was told by a good friend during my wedding preparations that there was a lady at Enugun that makes a great wedding cakes. In fact, my friend, comma, though not familiar with the lady, offered to take me to us. Yeah, that means us and H E R S. Wow. Now, dressed rather casually, I decided to park my own Mercedes and I joined my friend in her own car. Uh, a home car which was a cute uh, looking but uh, modest uh, Volkswagen known as a Beetle in those days. And she drove us to the cake maker's place. Upon our arrival, the popular cake maker, whose name I withhold, for obvious uh, reasons. Totally ob oblivious of my identity, took one uh, derisive uh, look at the car we arrived in, and I was uh, not impressed. I told her uh, I needed her to make my wedding cake, and she started coming up with all manner of excuses. Firstly, uh, she told me her cakes uh, were very expensive, and I definitely would not uh, be able to afford it. Now, at 25,000 Naira in those days, wow, <laughs> I really want to know the year. And offered to direct uh, me to a cheaper cakes place, uh, stressing that she only makes cakes for important uh, personalities, even going ahead to drop her uh, names, uh, such as one union bank and manager, one boutique owner, etc etc and thereabout uh, who in her estimation were dignitaries but i told her that i could manage to afford it she then asked uh, where the wedding was uh, taking place and i told her it was at habuja <laughs> she said i would have to pay for the transport uh, for her transportation and uh, going to and fro to abuja to mount the cake and uh, that since she only travels by hair, not by road. Okay, uh, this added cost uh, would be difficult for me to carry, for which I replied that I would pay. She raised the issue of hotel accommodation, uh, which I assured her uh, will be taken care of. Wow, I assured her, and uh, I make sure I would do that. I would take care of that uh, accommodation, hotel, or thereabout. My friend kept nudging me and whispering in my ear, tell this woman who you are, who you are. So, okay, she said, tell this woman who you are so she can put a stop to these nonsense questions. Again, she raised the issue of hotel accommodation, which I assured her that I will pay, uh, would be taken care of. Yeah, my friend kept nudging me and whispering uh, in my ears. Now, tell this woman uh, who you are so she can put a stop to these questions and uh, to this nonsense uh, question. Wow. To which I replied, no. I was secretly amused, albeit uh, perplexed at that moment, about human nature and uh, social climbers, which by her attitude, uh, this lady clearly was. Mm. What I found surprising was that the lady herself was uh, definitely not well off. Her own car was an old Corolla, her surroundings not plush. 
and she was uh, merely one of those I must belong by all means type of people. Yeah, I must belong by all means type of people. Now, <laughs> the storyline. Yet, she had the temerity to look down on others she considered not rich. Uh, to summarize and to cut a long story, still not convinced that I could afford her services. <laughs> I was just judging by my casual dressing and the most uh, modest ride, uh, which was not even mine, meaning I probably, I probably had no vehicle of my own. Uh, she briskly discharged us both, telling me to drop my number and that she would uh, call me. Hmm. Now, this is where the story would, you know, pause for now. Uh, sorry to cut you there. Sorry to get you there. <laughs> wow, let's continue. Wow, I got you there. Now, let's continue. As she said, uh, to cut a long story short, Still not convinced that I could afford our services. I was judging by my casual dressing and the modest ride, uh, which was not even mine, I meaning I probably had no very cool of my own. Oh. She briskly uh, discharged us both, telling me to drop my number and that she would call me. Hmm. Well, I dropped my number with her under my Igbo name Odinaka. Then who is Odinaka? Yeah, once again she said, I dropped my Igbo name. I dropped it and under what it is, uh, my Igbo name is Odinaka and we left. I never heard from her again. I simply uh, took up a generous offer from the Canadian chef at the uh, Nikon Hilton Abuja Hotel uh, then uh, who was a master baker and my janjai uh, sorry my gigantic uh, multi head uh, wedding cake was made at no cost at all simply as a PR to market and uh, advertise the hotel's uh, services now this is where the story begins Hmm. I would like my people to listen attentively and more attentively. Wow. Now to continue. Uh, the Henugun cake maker one day, uh, just a week to the wedding, saw the television broker of our impending wedding, uh, which, was, which was a big event at the time, and I realized that it was me who had come to a place for a wedding cake. She flew into a panic and uh, quickly managed to find a way to my house and started uh, begging uh, with all kinds of bland uh, explanation and uh, asking myself why I didn't introduce myself appropriately. Hmm. By which she meant as a very important personality, VIP, and even offering to make the cake free of charge, but it was too late. Now, on this day, a beautiful breezy day in November 1994. Hmm. <laughs> My people, should I continue or stop? Hmm. Maybe in our next article. But I don't want to put you in suspense. Let's continue. <laughs> wow. On this day, a beautiful breezy day in November 1994. It was a memorable wedding uh, celebration and ceremony at the Nikon Nuga Hilton. Uh, today's trans, uh, Transcorp eating. Uh, that is a uh, Nikon Nuga Hilton. And today, Transcorp Hilton in Abuja. At the first wedding event ever hosted there, uh, and it was a grand, uh, uh, grand making. And uh, this life size a multi step cake scene in this picture much bigger and more lavish than any conceivable one the Henugun cake maker could ever have offered and it was donated by the management of the Hilton. Uh, the Henugun cake maker um, lost a great opportunity to showcase her skills and her products since uh, the event was uh, telecast across the country 
TV, radio, newspaper, magazines, and every conceivable news uh, medium uh, with the Ilton and Master Baker faking the cake credits. Uh, this advertisement, uh, Master Stroke, uh, greatly boosted the Ilton event hosting uh, business and uh, facilitated countless more weddings at the same Congress all at Ilton. Last I heard, uh, the cake maker's uh, business has since uh, folded after she faced some difficulties in her business several years ago. Moral of this true life story and experience, the moral is that never judge a book by its cover. We are all human beings and created equally uh, before God, uh, if not before man, regardless of our status in life. Uh, we must never relate to others based on solely on who or what they are and what they have what car they ride or how expensively or poorly they are dressed <clears throat> every day people lose opportunities to forge valuable styles and long-lasting friendships because of their snobbish outlook and best of all when one door closes another greater one will open by divine messes i lost a molehill but gained a mountain Wow, some persons will lose, uh, you know, great people in their life, but uh, they will have uh, the everlasting, you know, imbi imb imbibed God traits in them. Uh, you know, seeing someone else, you know, some persons may die, some loved one may die, and their God will make sure that a formidable force is being guaranteed. Well, uh, in this article, hmm, there are more. To come, uh, this is just a uh, a guide, a life lesson for all of us. Well, for those that you know are not available to hear this, I believe uh, for those that have uh, the sense of humor to you know give uh, this report or send, share, subscribe, and let others know that yes, life is in faces and men are in sizes. Now, and when they tell you life is in faces, it's not by the face, uh, it's by the P H A. S E S, yeah, that is the face of life, the stage of life, and many sizes. Thanks for listening, and God bless you. Mm.